Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taste of whiskey.com. This is my son Ben and today we have the third new Glen turret here on our cask mm -hmm. and that's a special bottle. It's always complicated if you have a 12 year old and 50 year old what to bring special. So the typical things are we have a high proof, uh, we have a smoky one, we have a no name uh, cast strings, blah, whatever you think. And this one combines all those uh, things together. So it carries an age statement, so it's not a no age. It has 50% ABV, close to high proof or cast strength. And it's peaty and it's uh, in a wonderful uh, decanter from a French company called Lalique. And those company, Lalique, a luxury uh, company, uh, they own the Art de Terroir uh, wine producer, uh, which delivers then as well casts to Glen Turret. So mm -hmm. this one is called Glen Turret, 10 years old, peat smoke, and is priced slightly above 40 so it's reasonable priced for this hefty thick massive uh, uh, decanter and it's uncolored unchill filtered so everything fits and uh, i think the 15 year old had a bigger sherry cask influence and we rated it a little bit higher than the 12 year old mm -hmm. but both of them were excellent yeah i did like the other two glen turret we had the 12 and the 15 and i'm really looking forward to a smoky glen turret um, i never had that <laughs> uh, it's actually a new range of whiskies so they did a new range of whiskies they didn't do a redesign of the old ones and put the, the, mm. the same stuff in there but it's really a new range of glen turret yeah in the very past we had a 10 year old glen turret which was available from time to time but most most often not and then they brought out a range with finishings but without an a statement and now it is a brand new series and you have a close-up uh, here you can read uh, where it is here 2020 maiden release so if you get your fingers on this one uh, it might be a collector's item because it's a maiden release and Clenturit is the oldest working distillery in Scotland it was uh, founded in 17 uh, 63 1763. That's the date, isn't it? That's really, really <laughs> old, yeah. yeah. When was it? Uh, 1640 something? Or 70s? 14. Was the first whiskey? 1494. 1494? 500 years. The Irish, they're coming from the 17th oh. century. <laughs> Very pity. Oh, that's a. <laughs> that's a very. Oops. I don't know if it's just with the cork. Not that easy to pour from. <laughs> Beautiful ah, smoke, smoke, smoke. <laughs> Everything. Everything full is of smoke. So this is from the cork. <laughs> I would say it's well Isla style. Yeah. It's it's hefty. But it's it's different. It has a different kind of smokiness. Yeah. It's not that uh, medicinal hospital smoke. Mm-hmm. But it's still aromatic, mm -hmm. massive, and it's not that bonfire, but um, smoked smoked ham smell, probably. Yeah. Together no. with a hidden hidden citrus note. Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. yeah, I didn't have the citrus note, but I do have the ham, and that was very intense with the cork and now also really big in the whiskey as well it's a uh, it's i don't know why but it almost smells familiar i guess just got uh, a gift um and someone gave me uh, a smoked ham that he smoked himself and that really smells a lot like that um when you get uh, your ham from like the normal from the butcher they're usually very lightly smoked or dried 
and the one I got is really smoky and that really reminds me of that. It's a really smoky ham. Yeah, after some time the the smoke becomes a little less intense mm -hmm. and then I have this fresh citrus note in the back. Yes. Yeah, it's a little uh, sweet citrus note. I'm, it's it's fresh and I don't know orange mandarin. It's a little bit there's a little bit of a sweetness in there. Yeah. It's not cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> mm. That hits really. Mm -hmm. So you have this this 50% ABV which drives the whiskey right on your tongue. Then you have the smokiness wandering through um, your your mouth going up to the nose. Um, then I do have this citrus note in it, feeling like little dryness on my tongue and on the roof of my mouth. And then the aftertaste smoky cladding my mouth. Mm -hmm. mm. There's a lot more going on in this whiskey in, in the taste than in the smell. The smell was very much focused on the smoke. In the taste you do have a bit of a milder smoke, a little bit of vanilla, there's a little bit of a bourbon character coming through. So when I judge it from the from the taste I want Oh, also a little bit of spiciness. Mm -hmm. A little bit of spiciness going on. You have to taste, yeah. From the taste, saltiness. From the taste, I would have said something like 25, 30 ppm. From the smell, I would have gone with 40, something mm -hmm. like that. All in all, I don't know, something around 30, 30, something like that. Mm -hmm. The aftertaste glowing in your mouth. Mm -hmm still fire burning it's 50 percent abv and for the 50 percent it's smooth there are mm -hmm. others out there with 50 percent which are harsh yeah mm -hmm. smoldering mm. so just when you swallow it hits you a little bit of a a spicy hot touch that yeah. fades out into the aftertaste so it's a uh, that's cool. And a burning heather note. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Never smelled burning heather though. <laughs> 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 but usually there are some some notes that you just I imagine a combination of burning and heather, that's what it smells <laughs> like. And it's uh that's the beauty about the um the whiskey. Okay, yeah. so that was it. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to know more about whiskey. Go to whiskey.com, find our uh, information, articles, you'll learn anything about storing whiskey, buying the right kind of whiskey, collecting whiskey, enjoying whiskey, production of whiskey. There is everything to know about. And science behind whiskey. And science behind whiskey. And everything is on whiskey.com. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.